Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and welcome to today's practice. We're going to be hopping into a vinyasa flow style of class as usual, but a little bit different. We're going to be working on a lot of mobility, especially in the ankles. So if you're up for something a little bit different, maybe less pressure on your hands, we're gonna be doing very few to no chaturangas at all. So just a few downward facing dogs and that's it. All right, so we're going to get started in a comfortable seat on your mat. So you can be facing the top of your mat. So come to a comfortable seat, legs are crossed. You can rest your hands on your knees. Let's take a moment to ground ourselves here in the present. So letting go of anything that happened today, letting go of anything that you still need to do and just dedicating this next half hour to being fully present with yourself. Start to connect with the sensations in your body and with your breath. And to encourage the body to let go, you can go ahead and take three deep cleansing breaths. So deep breath in through the nose and then exhale through the mouth. Two more deep breath in. And exhale to release. Last one, breathe in. And exhale to let it go. Now let's go ahead and you can keep your eyes closed. Place your right hand on your stomach, left hand on your chest. And let's start to create this wave-like motion with the breath. So as you breathe in, send the breath into your lower belly, expand. When it's full, breathe into the chest. And then upper chest. And then exhale out of the upper chest, chest, and then lower belly. So you're squeezing all those different muscles. So as you breathe in, expand the lower belly as a balloon. When it's full, separate the ribs, expand through the rib cage, and then the upper chest, lifting the heart space. And then exhale, imagine you're pressing the heart space down, squeezing the ribs together, and then squeezing the navel back towards the spine. Now let's take a few rounds of breath here. And just do your best. It's a little bit tricky if you're starting out with this style of breath, but it will get more and more natural the more you practice. Two more breaths here. And now hopefully you're feeling a little bit more grounded, a little more present. Let's release the hands on the knees. On your next inhale, let's reach the arms above the head. And then exhale, side bend to the right. Right hand can come down on the mat to maybe the right elbow. Let's take three deep breaths here. You're more than welcome to keep your eyes closed for now. On your next inhale, let's come back up through center, reaching the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the left. On your next inhale, let's come back up through center. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand can come on the right knee, right fingertips behind you. And on your next inhale, let's unwind, reaching the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. And 
on your next inhale, unwind. Let's reach the arms up. Exhale, let's bring the hands down in front of us and roll into tabletop. So stacking shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. And just take these first few moments to move in any direction that you want. So if that's cat and cow, you can do that. If it's figure eights, whatever feels good. And so if you're feeling a little bit lost here, I suggest just moving in cat and cow. And then if there's any other movement, for example, if you're in cat pose and you really want to stretch the side of your hip, then go ahead and move the hip side to side and just build from there. Try to make the movement very intuitive to not think about it too much. Just allow your body to flow wherever it wants to go. Let's take two more breaths here. And on your next inhale, let's come back to a neutral spine. Extend your right leg back, tuck the toes. Let's rock back and forth. Just giving that calf muscle a good stretch, stretching out the sole of the foot a little bit, waking up the foot if it's early in the morning. And then we're going to come to stillness, cross your right foot behind your left leg, press into your right hand, and look over your left shoulder. So the aim here is to stretch over the right hip, the right side body. Try to send your breath there. On your next inhale, look forward, bring the right knee back in. Let's extend the left leg back, tuck the toes, rock back and forth. And then coming back through center, pause. Left foot crosses behind the right leg, press into your left hand, look over your right shoulder. Next inhale, let's look forward, bring the left knee back in. Let's tuck the toes, sit back on the heels, and just bring your, the backs of your hands together and roll out your wrists in one direction and the other. And now you can maybe shake your wrists out, whatever feel, feels good. Make sure you have enough space behind you. Keeping the toes tucked, we're just going to lean back, lift the knees, and drop the heels. Your arms, you can do whatever you need with them to stay balanced. If the heels don't touch the floor, that is fine. Just bring them down as close as possible. You can always use fingertips on the mat to support you. Now let's lift the heels, lean back, and trying to drop the knees on the mat without a sound. Let's do that a few more times. Lift the knees, drop the heels, Lift the heels, drop the knees. So it's all in the feet. Strengthening the toes, the soles of the feet, the ankles. Okay, let's go one more time. Heels to the ground. And then this time, knees to the ground. On your inhale, let's lift the hips off the heels. Reach the arms up. Exhale, let's sit back down. Again, hands can do whatever you want. Lean back, lift the knees. Bring the hips down, sit down, and then extend your legs into bone. Okay, deep breath in. Exhale, let's bend the knees with or without the help of the hands. Lift your hips off the mat. And then we're coming all the way back. Lift the heels, drop the knees. Inhale, stand on the knees. Exhale, slowly. And so the whole idea here is to move slowly with control. 
And if you can't lift your hips back up, like me, you can use your hands to support. Just try to make sure you're not falling on the ground, not letting the knees fall on the ground, not letting the hips fall on the ground. Trying to go with as much control as possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I did is I separated my knees a little bit more that helped me get up, but it's not exactly what we want to do. All right, let's go one more time through high boat. Drop the knees, lift your heels, uh, lift the hips, sorry. Last time through boat, and then we're going to add low boat. So high boat, exhale, low boat. Inhale, high boat, bend the knees, lift the hands with or without the help of the hands. Drop your knees without dropping them, just very delicately. Inhale, lift the hips. This time, let's keep the spine straight. Either hands can stay up in the air or hands at the heart space. We're going to lean back, bring the hips as close as possible to your heels, and then lift. So you should really feel that in your thighs. Exhale to lower, squeeze the glutes, and lift. For three. Two. And one. Right, let's drop the hands down on the mat. Come into downward facing dog. Lift the heels up high. Now you can walk your dog out, bending and straightening the legs, lifting and lowering the heels. One more breath here. And now your right leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the right knee, open up the hip. Let's circle the right knee in one direction. It's a really big hip rotation here. And then switch. On your next inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, let's step the right foot on the outside of the right hand. All right, now you can just move around here in any way that feels good. Maybe completely straightening the right leg, maybe smaller movements, whatever you want. Two more breaths here. Now let's keep the right knee bent. Left hand stays on the mat. It's a little bit more comfortable when the left hand is a little bit further away from you. Let's pivot onto the outer blades of the feet. Right arm reaches up, and then right hand reaches towards your left foot as you drop the hips. Inhale, right arm reaches up, lift the hip. Exhale, lower the hip, right hand reaches back towards left foot. Inhale to lift the hips, right arm reaches up. Exhale to lower. One more. Now inhale, lift the hips, square the hips, right arm reaches towards the top of the mat. Let's lift the left toes off the mat, bend the left knee, cross your left ankle behind your right ankle. Sorry, cross your left knee behind your right ankle, and then sit down facing the long side of your mat. So your right leg is crossed over your left knee. Right foot is planted on the floor. Right, uh, left heel is very close to your right sit bone. Right hand comes behind you. Inhale, left arm reaches up to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Oh, 
On your next inhale, let's unwind. Exhale, counter bow to the left. Good. From here, we're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine, and then exhale to hinge forward over the right leg. So the right shin is parallel to the long side of your mat. Your left heel is still very close to your right sit bone. So you should feel that deeply in the outer right hip. On your next inhale, let's slowly straighten the spine, look towards the top of your mat, plant your right foot so it's pointing towards the top of your mat, use the hands to lift the hips and then come into standing splits. And hold for five. On your next exhale, left foot steps beside the right foot, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale to fold. Chair pose, inhale. And one breath here. Exhale, twist to the right, one full breath. And make sure your left knee is not overshooting the right. And then keeping the twist, let's step the left foot back. One full breath. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane lunge. Reach your chest forward, arms back. Inhale, back to crescent. Exhale, interlace your hands at your lower back. Inhale to open up the heart. Exhale, drop your left knee, straighten the right leg, half split. And hold. On your next exhale, let's release the fingertips down on the mat, untuck your left toes. Inhale, straighten your spine, arms can reach out to the sides. And then we're going to lift the right leg off the mat. And hold for five, four, three, two, and one right knee comes beside the left knee. Tuck your toes, let's come into boat pose. So we're going to sit the heels back on, sit the hips back onto the heels, lean back, lift the knees, sit down. Inhale, lift the legs up high. Exhale, re-bend the knees, plant the feet. With or without the help of your hands, lift the hips off the mat. Drop your knees, plant the hands, and then come back to downward facing dog. And on your next inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, bend your left knee, open up the hip. And then let's circle that knee in one direction. And pause and switch. And on your next inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot on the outside of the left hand. Once again, here you can move in whatever direction feels good. Now let's keep that left knee bent. Right hand plants down on the mat. Let's pivot onto the outer blades of the feet. Left arm reaches up, and then left hand reaches towards the right foot. Inhale to lift the hips. Exhale to lower and reach back. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Breathe in. Last time, inhale to lift. This time let's square the hips. Left arm reaches towards the top of the mat. Lift your right heel, cross your right knee behind your left heel and sit down facing the long side of your mat. Left hand comes behind you, right arm reaches up to the sky. Breathe in, exhale, twist to the left and hold for three deep breaths. 
And really trying to bring the thumb to the center of the chest, squeezing the navel in to twist deeper. On your next inhale, unwind. Exhale, counter bow to the right. Let's come back through center. Keep your right leg as it is. Just cross your left ankle over the right knee. Left foot is flexed. Deep breath in to lengthen your spine and then exhale to fold forward. And try to keep your spine straight here so no rounding forward, keeping the chest open. On your next inhale, slowly straighten the spine. Left foot steps in front of the right leg, so towards the top of the mat. With the help of your hands, let's lift the hips. Right leg reaches up to the sky, standing splints. On your next exhale, right foot steps beside the left foot. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Chair pose, breathe in. One breath here. Exhale, twist to the left. One full breath. And now let's step the right foot way back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane lunge. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Exhale, interlace your hands at your lower back. Breathe in to open up the heart. Breathe out, half splits. Five breaths. And from here, release your fingertips down on the mat. Untuck your right toes. Inhale to lift the chest, lift your left leg and balance for five, four, three, two, and one. Left knee comes beside the right, tuck your toes, send your hips back to your heels, lean back, lift the knees, drop the hips, high boat, inhale, exhale, lower the feet down with or without the help of your hands, lift the hips. Bring the knees all the way back down to the mat. Hands plant, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, bend your right knee, open up the hip. Let's come into wild thing, but maybe without touching the floor with the right foot. Take a deep breath in here. Now let's step the right foot to the top right corner of the mat. So you can bring your right hand down first or keep the right hand in the air. Head. Right arm reaches towards the top of the mat, so maybe the right hand hasn't touched the mat at all. Turn onto the outer blades of your feet, drop the hips. Inhale, lift for three. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift for two. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift for one, square the hips. Right arm reaches towards the top of the mat. Let's kick the left leg through. And then step the left foot back. Drop, across uh, your left knee behind your right ankle. Drop the hips. Right hand comes behind you. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Let's unwind. We're not gonna come into the counter twist. We're immediately coming into standing splits. So fingertips on the mat, left leg reaches up to the sky, standing splits. Inhale, come high up onto your toes this time. Exhale, chiva squat on the toes for five. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale for four. Three. Two, and one, drop your left knee down on the mat. Let's sit behind the feet, and then extend your legs out, boat pose. Inhale here. Now let's rock back and forth. 
a few times just to gain momentum, and then we're going to come into chair pose. Good, inhale, chair. You can always use your hands. Exhale, twist to the right. One breath. Now let's step the left foot back. Stay in the twist. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, interlace your hands at your lower back. Breathe in, open up the heart. Breathe out, half splint. Inhale, release the bind, untuck your left toes, reach the arms up. Let's lift that right leg and then bring the right knee beside the left. And don't worry if you need to take a little more time, that is fine. Hands come back down to the mat and downward facing dog. Last time on the left side, left leg reaches up, inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee, open up the hip. Come into wild thing, maybe trying to keep your left foot off the mat. Right, and then maybe the left arm stays in the air. Left foot steps to the top left corner of the mat. Pivot on the outer blades of your feet. Let's drop the hips. Left arm reaches back towards the right foot for three. Lift, exhale, lower. Two. And one, square the hips. Left arm reaches towards the top of the mat. Let's kick the right leg through. Step the right foot back. And then cross your right knee behind your left ankle. Sit down facing the long side of your mat. Left hand comes behind you. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, twist to the left. On your inhale, unwind, look towards the top of your mat. Use your hands to lift the hips. Right leg lifts up high, standing splits. Let's lift on the left toes. Exhale, Chiva squat for five. Inhale, standing splits on the toes. Exhale, Chiva squat for four. Three. Two. And one, sit down, extend your legs, boat pose. Now gaining momentum again, we're coming into chair. Inhale, with or without using the hands. Exhale, twist to the left, one breath. And then let's step the right foot back, twisted lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane lunge, lean forward. Inhale, back to crescent. Exhale, interlace your hands at your lower back. Breathe in to open up the heart. Breathe out, half splint. Untucking the toes, inhale, your arms reach up to the sky. Let's lift the left leg. And then left knee comes beside the right. Tuck both toes. Hands come down to the mat, downward facing dog. And now let's intentionally walk forward, little steps, maybe on the toes. Knees can be bent or legs can be straight to make it a little bit harder. Let's wrap the peace fingers around the big toes, making sure your feet are about hip width distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, twofold. Five breaths. On your next inhale, let's come all the way up high mountain. On the toes, lift the heels up high. Exhale, slowly lower hips to heels. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Right, try to keep your heels as high as possible. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. This time let's hold. 
keeping the heels as high as possible, let's wrap the arms around the knees, opposite hand to opposite elbow, and hold for five. Three, keep lifting your heels up higher, two, and one, reach your arms forward. Let's drop the heels and then very slowly sit down. Peace fingers wrap around the big toes. Let's come into boat pose and hold. And from here, let's extend the legs out to the sides. And then three times, let's rock back and forth, or you can just stay here. If you can stay here, that's fine. Or let's rock back and then stabilize in boat. Two more times. Rock back, stabilize in boat. Rock back. Stabilize in boat, with or without holding the feet. Let's bring the legs down for a forward fold. Hands come down on the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold. And really strong legs. On your next inhale, let's slowly rise up. Lean back slightly so that you can bring your legs together. And then we're going to come all the way onto the back, one vertebra at a time. Once you're there, you can lift your legs up in the air and then come into plow pose. Next exhale, let's slowly come back down to the mat, one vertebra at a time. Bend your knees in preparation for bridge. Now, if you have a block or a pillow, you can take supported bridge. Sorry, I didn't mention that in the beginning. But you can also just take a normal bridge. So if you have a block or a pillow or anything that you can place underneath your lower back, and go for it. Just making sure if you're taking supported bridge, whatever you're placing is just underneath the sacrum. So not really the lower back, not the glutes, but that space in between. Knees can stay bent if you're in supported bridge, or you can straighten your legs. And if you're in normal bridge, you can just keep your legs bent, of course. <laughs> and let's hold it here. If you're in supported bridge, then make sure that you're completely surrendering your weight into the block. The legs are very, very soft. And slowly make your way out if you're in normal bridge, one vertebra at a time, just lowering down to the mat. Supported bridge, you can remove the block and also lower down. Let's bring the knees into the chest. Opposite hand to opposite elbow or wrist around the knees. And you can either stay here or you can lift your forehead up towards your knees, taking a deep breath in. 
And then when you're ready, you can come all the way into Shavasana, extending one leg at a time out in front of you, extending your arms out alongside your body. Let's take a deep, full breath in through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth, let it go. One more deep breath in. And exhale, release. And allow yourself a few moments of stillness, a time of transition to allow your body to absorb all the benefits of the practice that we just did, giving your body the time to heal, to rest, and giving yourself this time to become more observant, more self-aware, more connected to yourself. invite you to stay in Shavasana for longer if you have the time today. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it helped you work on some strength in your feet and your ankles. Super important part of the body, the part that supports you literally every single day. So if you enjoyed it, please let me know. If you're not already subscribed, then please consider doing so. It really supports my channel. And otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next week.